In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you're very well. It is Thursday, the 23rd day of November in the year of our Lord and Saviour, 2023. Two things are coming to an end this week. The first one is the novena, and the second one is the exams for our girls and boys. In fact, today, today, uh, the second group of the students will be leaving uh, yesterday because uh, today they are sitting for what? Today they are doing business studies in agriculture after break. So a good number of them will leave today. So we'll be left with a small group that will be doing a physics practical on Friday and then the whole thing will be over. Remember Friday is the day we have got the closure mass for the for the novena. So we are thanking God. Largely we are thanking God for the gift of our children and the exams. So thank you. Um, today I share with you the gospel from Luke chapter 19 verses 41 to 44. Jesus is now on the last stage of his mission. He approaches Jerusalem which will be the scene for the last great act of his life. His passion, death, and resurrection. From here too, we will rise up to the new community founded in his name, commissioned to continue the work he had started. As he approaches the city, he weeps over its tragic end. He implies that if the city had received him as Lord and King, it might not have met the fate that was in store for it. He says, if you, even you, had only recognized on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. The second half of the word Jerusalem means peace, Hebrew shalom. The city had not known the path to peace, which of course was that which led to Jesus, the Prince of Peace, and the source of all peace in our lives. And it has hardly known peace since that time especially where the Jewish people are concerned. It is therefore no wonder that even now, uh, guns have not cooled. The rest of the passage is a prophecy of what in fact is going to happen to the city. We know that it was besieged by the Emperor Titus in the year 70 AD. However, Jesus' words are built up from many Old Testament references and seem to refer rather to the destruction of Jerusalem in 587 BC as much, if not more than that brought about by the Romans. And as none of the distinctive features of the Roman siege are mentioned, the words seem to date from before that time. But of course, it was the Romans who destroyed the city and its huge temple. One of the wonders of the ancient world was reduced to ruins. The temple was ransacked and its most precious ornaments, including 
the seven branched candlestick were carried off all of these is sculpturally recorded in the triumphal arc of titus erected in rome to commemorate his victory and which can be seen in the forum to this day all these will take place jesus says because you did not recognize the time of your visitation from god so many failed to recognize jesus as messiah as god coming to visit them they rejected him with the destruction of the temple the jewish faith was dealt a serious blow and from which it may be said it has never fully recovered no temple has ever taken its place for it is felt it can only be on the same sacred site in jerusalem but unfortunately for the jews the al aqsa mosque stands on the site today and is not likely to be removed all that is left of herod's temple is the wailing wall where jews go to pray and lament their lost glory for us christians there is no exclusively holy place although certain places are of special significance to us but as paul reminds us each baptized person is a temple of the spirit and is to act as such and be respected as such matthew 18:20 we read for where two or three are gathered in my name i am there among them such a gathering may be at a solemn popo mass in the magnificent basilica of st peter's of rome or it may be oppressed christians gathering secretly in some prayer in a labor camp it does not matter it is the closeness to christ and to each other that matters and not the place once we know that then we are good thank you so much may the almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit do have a productive thursday in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friend i'm sure you're very well this thursday so we continue to give thanks to god because our children are finishing their exams tomorrow actually tomorrow's uh, today today they are doing business studies in the morning and agriculture in the afternoon tomorrow friday we shall have physics practical so today a huge number of students are going home quite a good number of them and this is the second group because the first group some left last week so this today then the other huge number goes so we are left with a small number those who are doing physics practical tomorrow so we thank god uh, we should be in the mood of thanksgiving and tomorrow again in the evening we shall have the novena closure mass that is how beautiful life is for our students so we shall be able to be saying thank you to them as they arrive home so we say thank you to god in all things we say thank you in fact we are even saying thank you in advance before even the exam is released because we know they have passed let's pray lord thank you for loving me and giving me grace when i fall short thank you for what you did on the cross and for dying for my sins lord despite my current situation and circumstance i give you control 
of what is happening in my life and ask you to give me peace. Lord, I know nothing I am experiencing is a surprise to you. I can trust you with this because you loved me enough to send your son, Jesus, to die for me. I ask that you are this situation, that you use this situation to grow my faith and dependence on you, and that through this experience, my faith will be bigger and stronger. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and never shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., wishing you a productive Thursday. <music>